Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. So if you are a dental hygienist thinking about opening up your own practice, or you have your own practice now, but you feel kind of alone in the whole owning your own practice, knowing, you know, whether to post on social media, are you allowed to have sales? How do you bring in new patients? How long to keep the records for? Do you have a physical business? or a, a mobile business like myself. So I have started a new course as of last year actually called a Mobile RDH Academy. And I had started that because when I was starting my own practice, so specifically my, my own um, mobile practice. So I go to people's homes, um, offices, nursing homes, and do dental hygiene services there. Um, but soon I want to have my own practice in my own home also because you know having your own practice is the most amazing thing ever you know take the money you make now per hour and literally triple that if if not more um working for yourself yes you do have business expenses but especially me at the moment my own mobile practice I don't have monthly expenses. It's just pretty much if I need to order something new, then yes, that's an expense, but I purchase my mobile equipment. Yes, it's expensive, but I purchased a, um, a sterilizer, instruments, everything, but that's it. So as soon as I pay off that loan, the money's mine. And it's the most amazing experience ever because you can see and talk to patients and you can you know educate the patients how you want to you can pick and choose your own hours your own schedule you don't have to work for somebody else it's just it's the most amazing thing ever honestly um, but I did start the course because I felt alone in the whole matter of starting my own business as a dental hygienist. There are so many out there, but it's not something you, you pretty much hear of all the time, especially not where I live, in Kitchener. There are dental hygienists in Kitchener that have their own business, but they're not advertising too much. Um, you don't hear about them. And even when I contacted all of the ones that I found online, nobody took the time to get back to me. And that's just me being honest here. So I felt alone, I didn't know who to turn to. So I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to learn everything myself. I'm going to make lots of mistakes, I'm sure. I'm probably going to spend too much money, you know, in some places, not enough money in other places, but that's how you learn, is by doing it. And in case you guys don't know me yet, I am extremely motivated. You know, no isn't an option. Yes always is. So I'm the perfect person to teach you guys how to start your own business if that's something that you want to do as a dental hygienist. Now I can specifically only talk to you guys about either having your own business in your own home or a mobile dental hygiene business. So I can't offer too much insight on if you have your, your own physical um, location, but we have lots of people inside the course that can offer you tons. Um, in fact, we do have our own uh, Facebook page now that has over 75 members. So if you guys have a question, the nice thing is you can ask um, um, them and they are all so, so helpful. Whoops. I just heard something. I think my dogs are going crazy. Um, you know, they are all so, so helpful. So, um, yeah, I just had to check on my dogs and they're just being weird. Um, but yes, you guys, like everybody is so helpful. If you have a question, just ask the question. In fact, I can show you guys now. Let me just stop this for one moment. There you guys. So I'm just pulling up the Facebook page now. And sorry, I do have a lot of things open, but um, just as you guys can see, we have 75 members and like I post all the time. Um, people ask some pretty amazing questions, um, but I'm not going to show you guys too much. But um, yeah, so things are pretty awesome actually. So if you guys have any questions about anything, we are all so happy to help. Um, and inside the course, I have everything too. In fact, I can show you guys inside the course as well. There you guys, sorry again. So I just had to pull up another file here. So, um, and depending on when you're watching the video, the outlook might change a little bit, but there's tons. So pretty much 
when you're thinking about starting your own business, sort of how to get through all of those questions, like how much are things? Where do I buy for the cheapest prices? Can I buy a uh, sterilizer from like China? Should I not? So I go through literally everything. And the neat thing is, um, when I was first opening up my business last year, I, I would actually go on video for about 10, to half, um, 10 minutes to about half an hour and just sort of talk about everything that I was thinking, um, sort of my notes through the whole process, um, the appointments that I had with dental companies, what I, um, what I wish that I had known before that I know now. So as you guys can see, I go through everything and I do um, upload some new videos at least every single month. And we pretty much post in the Facebook group all the time. So you will learn everything. So, so module one is just pretty much thinking about starting up your own business, how to get started. Do you take out a loan? How do you do that? And the second one is once you've sort of started your own business, you're thinking about, okay, well now I have to purchase things for the business. Like what's the best thing to purchase? What shouldn't I purchase? What's a waste of money? So I go through, as you guys can see, all of that too. So I talk about some of my um, Amazon purchases. I talk about my piezo, my new Pro Freedom handpiece. So things that people are always thinking of, like, okay, should I buy a handpiece? What handpiece should I buy? Should I spend the money? So I go through all of that for you. Module three is just pretty much so you have your own business, but now you have to start to advertise it. So how do you do that? So I do upload everything here. Um, what else? Last but not least is just sort of everything else. So I talk about, so I go through because we have to make sure to have very detailed records, of course, having our own business. So I do, I do update this often. Every time I get new information, I do update this often. So um, just kind of things that you guys have to know and things that you need for your own business that took me hours and months to actually do and I have it all there for you. So this is for those who are thinking about starting their own business as a dental hygienist, even those who might be writing your portfolio and thinking, okay, well, one day I might want to start my own business. This is the perfect course. If you have already started your own business, this is also the perfect course because it's kind of like we're talking and we're brainstorming. And if you guys have any questions, ask me anytime. And then I talk about it. So it's perfect. Um, okay, so sorry, this video was kind of long. I tend to talk a lot. Sorry, guys. But let me know if you need anything. I'll put the link for you guys on the course on the bottom. And I look forward to seeing you inside. This is perfect for those starting your own business. So we can talk about things, you know, talk about advertising talk about what has worked for you what has not so i'm pretty excited about it because i love to talk about dental all day long so we can talk to each other all day long okay so thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one